Hi, I'm Matt Domenico. I'm TARDEX Program Manager on the Extending the Reach of the Warfighter through Robotics Program. The purpose of this program is to show that by merging unmanned ground vehicles with unmanned air vehicles, you can take those two capabilities together, combined, to create a whole new capability that allows you to perform new mission sets that otherwise could not be performed right now or performed at much greater risk to the warfighter. In this demonstration, a commander on the ground elects to complete a planned resupply of an infantry company that is defending a village. You will notice during the demonstration that due to safety reasons, we have a safety pilot on board, though the full mission will be performed autonomously. As you can see, the K-MAX unmanned helicopter is already attached via sling load to the SMSS unmanned ground vehicle. Here you can see the K-MAX taking off and it will make two loops around the airfield before coming into the landing zone. While it's en route, the SMSS gyrocam sensors will already be turned on and can be used to survey the landing zone. Here the K-MAX is dropping off the SMSS and you can see the hook disconnecting. While it's en route, the SMSS is already running and it can begin immediately traveling to the resupply point. You know, technology is giving us a greater capability for resupply. And we have other ways of doing it where we were limited in the past. It provides just another way of tackling soldier load. If we can get a greater confidence level in resupply, soldiers take what they need to and they have confidence we can get resupply, we can take some of that burden off of them. At the resupply point, for safety reasons, the remote operator turns off the SMSS engines and the safety operator climbs on board and hands the supplies to the soldiers. After the resupply is complete, the SMSS maneuvers autonomously to the observation point. It raises the gyrocam in order to perform reconnaissance and then monitors the area for enemy infiltration. The remote operator monitoring the gyrocam sensor sees the opposing forces and notifies the commander on the ground. If this was an actual mission, the commander on the ground would confirm the threat and launch a quick reaction force to interdict the enemy forces. He may also be able to conduct a call for fire mission that destroys the enemy. We believe this technology that you've witnessed is the right solution at the right time and the robotics are able to do the dull, the dangerous, and the dirty so that humans are able to apply their intelligence to the more critical tasks that are required for combat operations. It offers a complementary, supplemental uh, capabilities to the soldiers, not to replace them, but to help them be more effective. It's just another tool in their kit bag that they can use when appropriate.